now might be nicking Craig Slater's material here, but transfer deadline day isn't quite over in the world of uh, Formula One. Oscar Piastri going to drive for McLaren next year. Alpine have lost their appeal to the um, contract recognition board. Is that what it's called? Yeah, this is the body, independent body, four lawyers that, that rule uh, if there is a contractual dispute potentially between two teams, which is the binding contract. In this case, they have unanimously ruled in favour of McLaren, saying that the only contract live with regard to Oscar Piastri, this young driver, is the one that Piastri signed on the 4th of July this year. Now, I've been trying to delve into the detail of some of this over the last few days. Uh, and in terms of, of why perhaps Alpine have been unsuccessful here, I understand key bits of paper perhaps did not have Piastri's signature on it. They couldn't necessarily back up even uh, the expenses they'd laid out on his behalf as well. But the, the timing of all this is fascinating because McLaren, we now discover, signed Piastri on the 4th of July. Nine days later, the current driver, Daniel Ricciardo, who won't be there next year, announced that he would be staying with the team next year. Andrea Seidel, the team principal, has just been on uh, Sky Sports F1 saying we kept Daniel Ricciardo in the loop throughout, but that seems a little bit of a, a conflict in, in terms of the timeline and chronology in all of this. Tough one for Alpine to take. They would have invested close to £10 million in Piastri's career. My understanding is they will now have to have a very careful look at the way they go about their contractual business. One or two individuals connected with that team observed that Red Bull never make this mistakes when they have young drivers. Even if they're on their driver development programme, there's no way another team can come along and poach them because they are absolutely watertight in what they do. And is there anywhere left for them to take this dispute? No, I understand. They've already announced in a statement they are drawing a line under the matter. Not only that, uh, they won't be seeking compensation, as I understand it, in the High Court either. The one silver lining from an Alpine perspective is, I think during this process, they perhaps identified that they could get Pierre Gasly from the Alpha Tauri team. He is a race-winning driver, more experienced than Piastri, and I think he has now been their preferred option to be in that car for at least the last week, and I expect him to, to make a move to bring him to Alpine next season. Thank you, Craig.